Here's what we're going to be making today. It's my whale zippy mouth um, quiet book page. And here we go. This mouth unzips and it's like a little pocket where you could put all your little fishy friends. Okay, so let's get cutting out our pieces. Here are all the things you will need to make your whale quiet book page. Um, the template is the first thing you will need, which you can download from my blog. I've put a link in the description below. You will need a piece of cotton or felt that measures 10 inches by 10 inches. Uh, you will need um, felts in all of these colours. Blue is the biggest bit you need because that's going to be the colour of our whale. And then I've got rainbow colours and I've got a bit of black and white to make his eye. You will need threads in all of those colours also. You'll obviously need a needle, your scissors and you'll also need a zip measuring four inches. And that's it. That's everything you'll need. Uh, let's cut out our pieces. Okay, so I've cut out all the pieces for my whale quite book page. Um, I've cut out the colours, um, so they are rainbow colours. Um, so I've got kind of two of this fish, two of this fish, two of this fish, but they're kind of different colours, so I've got the colours of the rainbow. Um, I'm going to maybe do a little few embellishments on these fish um, and add little black dots for eyes and then I'll finish them off by doing a blanket stitch around them. I'm just going to do the embellishments on one side. Um, I don't really think we need them on both. So that's how I'll do those. Um, just something to note uh, when you're doing the whale is to cut out this area for his mouth. I have drawn a rough line on the um, template, but it's easier when you've got your zip to kind of measure it out and how it fits in. Now if you see, I've kind of cut it as a bit of a, a line that's going to be cut out rather than just snipping it. And I've done that because otherwise it's just going to push your fabric and it won't sit very straight. So I'm ready to kind of snip this section out now. There we go. And then, hopefully, my zip should sit in there quite comfortably with that little section right at the back. And there we go. So to sew this bit on, I'm going to do a kind of straight stitch along here, making sure I fold that edge over. Um, and then I'll come down across here over the back and do the same along here. Um, so the zip will kind of be attached to this piece of fabric. And then what I'm going to do is place him on my blue background. And I'm going to sew using a fell stitch all the way around um, and here just to this section. I'm not going to sew in here at all because that's going to be where my zip is. And then I'm going to be able to poke my pieces in there to hide them. Okay, so I'm going to get on with all those steps. So here is my whale. I've um, stitched his on his eye. And I've also stitched on the zip around his mouth. Um, I've used fell stitch both times. I'll just show you the back. Um, obviously, I haven't stitched across this area, but I'll just show you that the zip works. Okay, so now my next stage is to sew my whale onto my fabric. So I'm going to be doing that using a fell stitch all the way around his tail up his back and down here. I'm going to leave this little section here free so we can have our opening to stuff in our fish. So I will get on with that now. I have my whale all sewn down now uh, and I've started to work on my fish. Um, so what I've been doing is sewing on some eyes and some mouth and putting a few uh, embellishments on them and then I'll be ready to do what I've done on this one is go around with a um, blanket stitch just to tie in all those edges. I'll just kind of show you what I've done on each of them. And this one, you see, I've done a fell stitch to sew on his little flipper. And there we go. <clears throat> so this is the last thing I'll need to do for this page is just do blanket stitch around all our fish. And here is our completed page. So his mouth. Here we go, it unzips and then you can post all your little sea creatures back in his mouth and zip him back up again. 
There we go, a whale zippy mouthed quiet book page. Thanks for watching.